Mexico's Attorney General Areli Gomez announced that the remains of another of the 43 forced, forcibly disappeared Ayotzinapa students have been identified. She said the students' remains belong to Josivani Guerrero, identified by his mother. Gomez admitted that the possibility of the remains actually belong, belonging to Guerrero are one in 72. The families of the victims immediately rejected the announcement. International experts last week said that incineration of the students, as reported by the Mexican government, never took place. press conference by the Attorney General Aurelio Gomez, uh, in which no questions were permitted, uh, was essentially a reading of the findings by Austrian forensic experts that determined that one of the 16 bone fragments sent by Mexico's Attorney General's office to the lab pertains to Gio Navi uh, Guerrero de la Cruz, one of the 43 disappeared Ayotzinapa students. That's the second missing student identified by the DNA experts who back in December identified the remains uh, of Alexander Mora uh, Benancio. It has not been made clear as to what part of the body the charred bone fragment belonged, nor is it clear exactly where the remains were found. Uh, according to the Attorney General's office, the 16 burned bone fragments sent to Austria were collected in a garbage dump in the town of Cocula Guerrero in a garbage bag in the San Juan River not far away. These sites are considered to be part of the government's so-called historic truth hypothesis and that the 43 missing students uh, were murdered, burned, uh, and their remains dispersed in the river. Uh, however, it was uh, only 10 days ago that a team of independent investigators gave their final report, which stated that the historic truth hypothesis was scientifically impossible and that previously the experts were unable to verify where the authorities actually collected those charred remains. With only a little over a week before the one-year anniversary of the attack and forced disappearance, of the Ayotzinapa students, the family of Joseph, uh, Joseph Nani is now left with further questions and anger. This is Clayton Conn reporting for Telesort here in Mexico City.